goes in to, to protect our daughter, you know what I mean? She she says, I need to hold off the visit, you know? That's crap. Um, that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it pretty much wants me to kind of stop talking about my daughter, you know? Stop putting her in dangerous positions like this. So how do we continue with this? Nothing left to do. It's always the same venue. It's so rare to find the truth. That's why it's just me and you. Clear the lies, no surprise. See what's true, then comprise what's inside. Everything that we've ever been through, and it's not even over. We have made a crew through it too. You're my four leaf over. What is up, guys? You are here. You are here. You are here with Gemini King. And today, I've got some stuff I wanna get off my chest. Some shit to tell you guys. Gotta put my two cents down on the table right now about something. Uh, that I find is important uh, for morales and to a lot of people um, about our good old friend Charlie Chill, aka Charlie Travels. Haven't done a video about him for a while, and I don't often. Once in a while, when I feel like, like I said, I gotta put my two cents down, I will. Um, and uh, first of all, we're gonna start this video off with uh, reacting to one of his uh, recent videos. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to explain myself while we do the reaction, but I'm also after I'm going to, uh, after the video's over, um, I'm going to uh, explain how I feel about all of this. And, uh, yeah, it's this one here, uh, so sad, it's called. Um, and I know when I do these videos, I do get a lot of feedback, positive and negative. Um, just try to keep in mind that, uh, of the story um and I try to look at the good and bad of each side you know no one's ever 100% right no one's ever 100% wrong you gotta remember that people make mistakes some little some big you know so um we're gonna get to this right now see what he has to say here it's not a long video Raise the volume a bit. YouTube. <laughs> Just skip for for now. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Charlie, check it in. Move this a little closer here. Hopefully, you guys can hear. That's bullshit. And so, you know what I'm saying? To, to protect our daughter, you know what I mean? She she says, I we need to hold off the visit, you know? Yeah, that's crap. Um, that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it pretty much wants me to kind of stop talking about my daughter. You know? Stop putting her in dangerous positions like this. You know what I mean? Such bullshit, though, all the way down the line. Think about people coming after you and, 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 and attacking I do got to say, though, posting an apology at this point of his life ain't gonna do much. People are gonna be like, you know? Even if he means it. Whether he means it or not. Huh. That's harsh. That's fucked. So... Sorrows are a lot of them. 
He's got to stay strong. That is true. He's got to. did say some things that was a little unnecessary as he explains, but it wasn't that bad. Lost a thousand. That's not that bad, though, for him. And I feel like as long as I have you guys, you know what I'm saying, then, then, then I have something. You know what I mean? You all see what's going on? Teresa against me, or thank you so much, sweetheart. Says I'm totally this is, so um, sorry. Please, please stay strong. Check your DM on Twitter, please. See, the, uh, just so you guys know, you guys probably already can tell. But this is a live stream, so that's why it's a bit laggy. We don't need to see him put his jacket on. To, 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 to fight stronger, to stay, to stay straighter. Justin Bland, thank you so much, bro. It's a street hey, bro, patch on that street road. I am, you know. Take this negative and turn it into a positive. You know what I mean? So, you guys see me here. You guys, you guys see me coming clear, coming honest with everything. You guys see how I'm taking these these situations. Eduardo Gutierrez, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. <clears throat> like I say, this, you know, this isn't about, and I, none of these live streams are ever about, you know, super chats and stuff, you know, it's about me coming, coming on and being open and honest with you guys and showing, helping, kind of showing you much my, my struggles, you know what I mean? And, um, as long as y'all continue to see what's going on, you know what I mean? I continue to stay honest with you guys, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean... And as we all know, a lot of people have it worse. So, gotta always look at that. It's gonna be hard for me to go to sleep tonight, guys. He's a shame. He really shouldn't be, but he is. And I mean, he's also sad. It's his family, man. He was looking forward to this. Working hard. It's going to be tough for him to stay sober right now. But he can do it. He can. And your sense of what is actually going on, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I'll make it through this, you know. So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know, man, I love all of you. And uh, I'm not going to turn out ball tonight. So thank you so much, and I'll haul you tomorrow. Jay Shorto right there, brother. Says, uh... Yeah, can't change what you don't acknowledge, and I'm acknowledging all of it, so. All right. So, that was that. Um, I've got a lot of thoughts on this, like I always do. I always got a lot of thoughts about a lot of things, but, um, and I already know a lot of people are getting to get on here and 
jump on me hard, probably. Um, you don't need to do that. I'm not sitting here being like, oh, he's 100% right, and blah, blah, blah. No, like, he still did screw up, and he had this plan, you know, to stay sober, and he didn't. Um, but you gotta look at it at this point, too. He didn't sit there and get wasted. He was, he was had a few drinks in him. His fucking, uh, his ego started going. He jumped right on, uh, Tina. I called her Tuna and shit. Like, you know, like, de trying to defend the family. Like, his heart was in the right spot. It was. The way he dealt with it, no, it wasn't right. But it's not 100% wrong, and it's not 100% right. Um... And anybody will jump on the opportunity to get on Charlie, like, right away. Because a lot of people have a, a serious hatred for this guy ever since that one screw-up um, over at Michael's place there. Um, which, is, which is brutal, because, like, you know, there's people, bad people out there that make mistakes all the time. And they don't change, they don't want to change, and they're proud of it. Uh, Charlie isn't like that. He... He has a problem with alcohol, he does, and he's got an inner rage, but we all do. He can't control it as well as most of us do, especially when he gets on the booze, because it poisons your brain, makes you do and say stupid fucking things. Um, but this time wasn't that bad, like it started blowing up a few days back, and uh, maybe I'll leave a little more in a few days, I don't know, something like that. And it was ridiculous when I found out all the information about it, it's like... It wasn't that bad. It, like, people were reacting like he just fucking did the worst thing again or something. Like, he didn't. He had a few drinks, and he fucking said some stupid things. Life moves on. Like, legit, it moves on. And he can be better. He can try. The thing is, you know, Angry Grandpa, his dad, told him, live your life, right? Which, technically, I don't think he's really doing right now a hundred percent because when he said live your life what did he mean by that he meant to, for him to be him just be him and continue on anger grandpa and everyone that knew charlie knew that he wasn't a bad guy and he had a good heart in him he had some problems what we all do um he's trying to stay sober a hundred percent and i hate me if you want I don't honestly think that's um, the way he should be going. Uh, I don't really think that's him living his life. Um, he's a guy that likes to have a few drinks. What he's got to learn, he doesn't have to cut it off 100%. Like, you know, like, what if he had a long day at work or whatever he was doing and he came home to a six-pack or a few beers after work? Like, takes the edge off let you relax like all those freaking old people that drink wine at night and stuff and get loaded though because wine's fucking brutal a couple beers or whatever that's not gonna hurt him and it might even keep him living his life he can still do it he's got to do it in moderation though you know what i mean he can't get wasted no one should get wasted that's not why alcohol is there for us to just get bloated out of our minds you know what i mean it's there to take the edge off it's not good for you i don't i I don't really drink. Like, I drink once in a blue moon, and it's casual. Like, so I'm not, like, all for that. Like, I think out of anything, freaking alcohol and uh, tobacco should be illegal, and marijuana shouldn't be. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> oh, he's high as a kite. Look at him. Hey, look at him. Hey, look at him. Hey. Smoke weed every day. That's my honest opinion on that shit, but that's totally another subject. But all I'm really saying here is, you guys don't have to jump on them like you're jumping on them. It's a little bit ridiculous. Like, I could understand some people might, like, really enjoy getting in the drama and getting in the hate and getting out there, maybe for different reasons, for maybe selfish reasons, just to get their name out there, maybe for just they have a lot of hatred in them and they're throwing it out on someone that doesn't really deserve your hatred. Like, you got to think about that shit, you know? Like, you don't really know him 100%. Neither do I. None of us do. For all we know, like... He could be a fucking... He could be a great guy. He could be donating to starving children and shit, and we don't even know about it. Like, you know, like, you don't know. 
I'm not saying he does, but all I'm saying is you don't know him. And it's, uh, we can't just jump on him all the time like this. Um, so, you know, I think that I put my two cents down on the table there. I would like you guys to get back at me in the comments. I know there's going to be some not very nice people there, but, um, most likely. But I'll, I'll deal with them even the same way I'm putting my heart out there right now. In a calm manner. You guys don't have to start freaking out on me. Just tell me what you think. Your honest opinion. And I will reason with your honest opinion. And I will consider it. I consider everything. You know what I mean? Like, give me your points. And I'll get back at you in the comment section. 100%. So, that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks for being here with Gemini King once again for another video. And I will see you guys next time on whatever it may be.